be you know, the SEC uh, football team. And, uh, of course, uh, a lot of things come with the name LSU, and it's a big time opponent. And I feel like the entire team is ready to go and get to play against the football team. What's your schedule been like with no classes this week? Uh, I kind of like got back to not like a fall camp vibe, but in the sense that it's, it's all football, which I really, really like. You get to get that, not burden, but like the, um, I guess you could say, like the weight of school off and it's kind of all football. You have more time for film, more time to be up here, uh, more time for practice and things like that. So, I mean, we had practice this morning and some meetings, and we'll, we'll head back up here uh, at about 3 30 and get some more meetings and stuff and a walk through uh, just to get ready for LSU. What's your overall move? I feel like we're ready to go. Uh, it's another opportunity to get out there and play together uh, in a, on a big time stage of flight. I think we're the only game on uh, as far as bowls games go. So, I mean, everybody's been watching me down in Houston uh, in a great venue, NRG Stadium. I've been a couple of times, and it's it's a beautiful stadium. I think it's a really good ball club, so uh, really excited. Coming off of last year, not having the chance to play the bowl game, how excited are you for the opportunity now this year? Super excited. It's going to be the first time I get to go to a bowl site get to have that uh, four to five days with my teammates and uh, getting to practice and being in a, a new city and uh, having all the amenities that come with it. Uh, going to a, a Rockets game, going to um, uh, all the, the things that the Texas Bowl has uh, ready for us and being the whole time, just spending time with, our, with my guys and getting this last opportunity to be together this season. Why do you think uh, this team is so fired up to play in this game? You see, country, people opting out, choosing not to do the balls, you guys seem all on board about it. Tell us why. Personally, for me, I feel like it's just from the fact that uh, the way that we lost our last game, and it's, it's been a while since we played football, in a sense. We had uh, some time off uh, after the Texas uh, game, and then getting back into practice, and now I'm just fired up to get, be out there and play another football game uh, with my guys. And, uh, I feel like we're really, really ready to go because it's another opportunity. Uh, I feel like that's the biggest thing is we have another opportunity to come out here and uh, just showcase uh, what all K-State's about. I was a visit to watch other bowl games already underway, knowing that you're that last game before the national championship. Uh, it's a little tough just from the fact that, like, man, you'd like, you love to be out there right now. Uh, right now, you kind of just practice it while other other uh, teams are playing and they're at their bowl sites and things like that. But it's also building that sense of, uh, I guess you would say, like you like ready to go, like like I was uh, talking about. Uh, but our time is coming. We just kind of take it day by day. What have you learned about LSU and prepping so far? Uh, it's they have they have really athletic players. Uh, they run well. Uh, they have, I mean they look like LSU and SEC uh, football team. They changed their defense up a little bit. So uh, if you look into the first half of the season, they play a lot of quarter stuff, uh, kind of rally into the football. But they changed it. They went to more of an Okie Bear front uh, towards the back end of the year and going a lot of one high stuff, uh, deep one high, and going to run a lot of man. So uh, just figuring out how we're going to attack that. As far as you don't have a whole bunch of film on them playing that system to the back end of the year, just figuring out exactly what we can do as an offense to, to go and try to exploit some things that they have is going to be uh, something that we've been trying to do for the past month, I would say. I don't know how, about, how much you know about them just yet, but does it excite you the possibility of playing with the transfer like Adrian Martinez next season? Absolutely. I got to talk to him uh, just for a little bit whenever he came up uh, for a visit. He's, he seemed like a really cool dude, and he's somebody that I'm excited to have come in. And uh, just be compete with us because if he's uh, coming in to be a K-State Wildcat, uh, and our coach has signed off on him, and everybody signed off on him. He's going to be somebody that's going to come in and compete and uh, join it just like a family that we are, like, just like the other transfers that we had. And I'm really excited for him to come in. Deuce, what, uh, what do you think about all the accolades that you've, you know, been given in the off season? I mean, you're a humble guy, but I know those have to feel good. Yes, yeah, so it's 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 surreal. Just from the, I was talking to um, my my parents and uh, my my dad and mom asked if it hit me yet. Uh, just from the fact the mere fact that that's a goal that I've been wanting to, to achieve since I was seven years old, and it's crazy. It didn't hit me until a couple of days after. To the point where I was like, man, all that hard work that I put in uh, over from even from middle school to high school to now, and then all the support system everybody that I had has poured into me uh, to be able to say like. I, I achieved that because of y'all, and I want to say thank you for all that. It's 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 unbelievable. It's it's surreal, like I said, and man, it's just a, it's another stepping stone, and it's something that keeps me motivated. Was being an All-American a big goal for you coming here? 
Yes, sir. I will say, uh, ever since I was uh, little, I always looked at uh, the All-American status on players. You, know, you see all these big names like Manny. He was the All-American. He was one of the best of the best in, in the nation. And that was always something I wanted to do whenever I, I got to this level. And to be able to achieve that is, 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 is astonishing. It's, it's crazy. Looking ahead, is there anything else you still want to not goal wise, but is there anything else you want to do next season to prove you're even better? Uh, really, I just, I just want to keep improving as a football player, whether that be in pass blocking, running routes, uh, getting even more comfortable running inside the tackles, uh, running outside, things like that. And, uh, just adding anything that I can to my game uh, is, is really what I'm looking forward to getting to do in the offseason, adding more weight, adding more muscle mass, and uh, having a strength staff and coach true like that. I know they're going to they're gonna take care of that. It's, it's really exciting to see. Uh, all the more stepping stones I can be walked on as I, I continue on my path here. Coach, so the, it looks like Skyler's training in the right direction to be back out. How big is that just, just for the team and also for him getting a chance to, to finish that time? It's, it's big time for him to uh, possibly get a chance to finish it off uh, down in uh, Houston playing against LSU. Uh, it's really big. Man, I'm excited for him to possibly have that opportunity. And uh, man, if, if he's doing that, if he's ready to go, man, I'll be right there and we will be uh, rallying behind him because uh, that's our quarterback, that's our guy. And man, uh, excited to possibly have him back. He's looking good. Does sending him out with the win motivate you? Is that something you really want to do? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, sending Scott T out with a big time win would be huge, uh, just for his legacy and everything that he's done for the K State Nation and uh, us as a family here at K State. Uh, in the locker room, in this building. Uh, he's been somebody that like a rock for us. And man, to send him out like that would be big time. You may mention also 2022 Heisman list. How does it make you feel be included in that discussion? Uh, humbly, uh, but uh, 2021 is not over yet. 2022 is, uh, I guess you could say, right around the corner because whenever you get done with this bowl game, you get ready for the 2022 season. And it's, it's, it's pretty crazy to be even uh, mentioned uh, with the Heisman Trophy. But uh, it's going to be something that I don't really feed into. I'm just going to uh, work with one off every single day, every single time my feet hit the ground when I wake up, and whatever happens, happens. Might be a similar answer, but I mean, you're probably going to get, you know, talked about for the NFL draft as well um, after next season. Are you going to feed into that at all, or are you going to do exactly what you it's, did? With it's the, definitely going to be whatever happens. Yeah. happens. All I'm focused on right now is being a, a great football player at Kansas State. And, uh, if I do get the opportunity at the next level, that would be uh, another big time goal of the dream that I've had since I was a little kid. But right now, uh, I'm going to take care of everything I can uh, while I'm here as, as a Wildcat. Anything else? Uh, uh, you be the buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to ask you real quick about uh, Russ is coming in here and as a transfer. How, how important was he to, to your guys' second year? Uh, it was big time. Uh, you see the stats, you see the, the plays that he makes. Uh, in the back end, and him, Julius, Timmy Horn, uh, all the guys in the since and Mason, all the guys that we brought in, uh, every single one of those guys. Whenever you look at our defense and how uh, they played, the way Reggie Stubblefield and Alvin Hoffer got him, uh, the way that they play, the way that they, they fly around the football, the way they make plays, it's one of those things where on offense, whatever you're seeing, they like, man, these are guys that are playing the butts off for us. And, uh, without a doubt, you want to get back out there and help them, can't keep them off the field, get them the rest, go out there and fly around and get them. And it's, it's fun to see, especially number two when he catches the interception and he's running back. And uh, it is big time, and I appreciate it. All right, guys.